Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and this is Most Mysterious. I've been gone for a little while, but I just wanna say that I'm back now and I have a really long case to cover. So jumping right into this case, we're going to be covering an unsolved homicide case from 1989. And this actually took a lot out of me mentally to cover this case. It's really, really sad. So let's jump right in. This is the unsolved homicide of Mailing White. When Mailing White, a nine-year-old girl living in Troy, New York, vanishes on July 21st, 1989, her community will soon rally together in an attempt to catch her killer. At 7 a.m. that Friday, July 21st, 1989, seemingly a normal day for little Mei Ling as she was out early collecting bottles to exchange for nickel deposits. She was just outside her felon court apartments near Thompson Street and Winslow Ave when a neighbor comes forward as a witness to a strange series of events. According to this witness, at the corner of Winslow Ave and Thompson Street, Mei Ling was accompanied by two children, about 8 to 10 years old. At some point, the two kids leave, and a young white male, about 14, 15, is seen in the area standing with Mei Ling. Four agonizing days pass without further clues in Mei Ling's disappearance until a horrific discovery is made. On July 25th, 1989, Mei Ling's body is found in a wooded area off Winslow Ave, just 200 yards from her home. And despite having six boxes of evidence, DNA clues, and roughly 2,000 documents regarding this case, Mei Ling's murder remains unsolved today. But her parents, Stephen and Toya White, were unable to contain their sadness as they sobbed and wailed at the injustice that their daughter had endured. this sadness, the community would rally together to support the family, providing valuable witness statements and donating towards the funeral costs for the family. Okay, so the Troy Police Department were involved right away. They began evidence collection immediately and they were pretty confident that this case would get solved very, very quickly. The lead investigator at the time hand delivered the DNA evidence to the FBI National Crime Lab. So a team of investigators goes and they are questioning neighbors at the time. The neighbors are not really helpful in the identification of the two younger kids, but they are helpful in identifying the last person to see her alive. They do track down that teen and they do rule him out. Mei Ling was a sweet and happy girl whose life was ended unjustly. This case heavily affected the community and investigators. They took extreme measures to solve the case, even taping live footage of Mei Ling's funeral. One of Mei Ling's classmates even spoke at her funeral. His name was Jason Rainier and he spoke about how sweet she was. Detective Sergeant Robert Paul stated at the time that he was very confident that they would make an arrest in the case and that it was just a matter of time before they did that. All these years have passed and there has been no justice for Mei Ling. In 2017, renewed effort was made by the Troy Police Department when Sergeant Adam Mason and Detective Mark Mason put out a letter to the community detailing the crime and asking for new leads. Nothing came forward and they are still looking for new leads. I would like to thank everybody for watching today's case. I know that was kind of a long one, but I think the details are really important in these older cases and it does mean a lot to the family to continue to spread awareness about these cases, even if it's just telling their story in their memory to honor that person. But if you have any information regarding Mei Ling's case, I will leave all the contact information on the screen at this time. I will also detail it in the description box for everybody if anyone needs that as well. I will see you guys next week with another case. 
And again, thank you for watching. 